Wrapping up his trip to Spain, President Yoon Seo Gare held a series of bilateral meetings with leaders from the Czech Republic, Canada, and the UK. That's right, and discussions include cooperation on North Korean economic security. Yoon Jung Min starts us off. South Korean President Yoon Song Nir wrapped up his Spain trip on Thursday for this week's NATO summit with a series of sideline meetings, bolstering cooperation with partner countries for exports and North Korea's denuclearization. Meeting Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, President Yoon thanked Canada for its participation in the Korean War over seven decades ago and mentioned a newly established monument in Canada to mark victory at the Battle of Kapyong. 또 양국의 이런 우호를 바탕으로 해서 앞으로도 이런 첨단 기술, 인공지능, 에너지 이런 첨단 미래 산업으로 또 경제 안보 협력을 양국이 강화해 나갈 수 있을 것으로 생각합니다. Canada is deeply engaged in uh, in the uh, North Pacific and in the Indo-Pacific on uh, a broad range of issues, and uh, Korea is a very important partner to us. The two leaders reaffirmed coordination for the denuclearization of North Korea, which Trudeau called a complete, verifiable and irreversible denuclearization. There also was a pull-aside meeting with the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, during which a bilateral framework for closer cooperation was adopted to strengthen cooperation in politics, economy and culture. While bolstering cooperation on nuclear energy, the two leaders agreed to coordinate on digital trade and supply chain issues through more negotiation of their bilateral free trade agreement. Yoon also asked for support from the UK, a UN permanent member, on North Korea's nuclear issues. And during a meeting with the Prime Minister of the Czech Republic, Petr Fiala, President Yoon asked for support so that Korean companies can make inroads into a Dukovani nuclear power plant project in that country, as well as support for Korea's bid to host 2030 World Expo in Busan. The Czech leader expressed hope over expanding cooperation with Korea on electric car batteries and hydrogen. Yoon also sat down with NATO Secretary General Jan Stoltenberg, during which they shared a wish for stronger partnership between Korea and NATO, especially as South Korea newly sets up a diplomatic mission in Brussels. Also agreed was coordination against North Korea's nuclear programs. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.